It's 6 July, Tuesday. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. So welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, I'm Aiza of Biblio Mom. Please subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my reads on June. Stay tuned. I have read 3,025 pages across 14 books. As you guys probably know, if you guys have been following me for quite some time and watching my monthly wrap-ups, I do not have systems. And I'm always late. So, without further ado, let me share with you guys what I have read in June. The first book is Coronavirus, a book for children about COVID-19. This is a great book. I do not remember how much I rated this, but this is very informal. My seven years old have read this. One of the, I think, an adorable practice you can do as an adult too. When you are washing your hands, sing yourself happy birthday twice. That's the minimum period for you guys to wash your hands to make sure it's really clean so this book basically explained to little children why do they have to stay at home social distancing wear masks washing their hands regularly sanitize their hands i think i rated this book four stars the next book is istri bukan bibi oleh ahmad sarwat i rated this book four stars or 3.5 stars to be exact and i link the video up here you can watch that the next book is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I rated this book 4 stars. I really like it. And I watched the movie like twice. I'm not sure why. But psychological thriller is one of my favorite genres. So it's basically about this woman who have agoraphobia, if not mistaken. Restricted her to go outside from the house or else she will have severe anxiety when she is outside of the house. The house is very big. It was like four stories and she's not living alone david her tenant lives downstairs her daily life consists of her like watching her neighbors like you know it's creepy it sounds creepy but it's not creepy i think she just want to get to know her neighbors without getting out from the house if that makes sense one day she saw her neighbor stabbing his wife she tries calling the police she cannot wait she just ran across the street wearing a red umbrella but then she collapse and she started to doubt herself because the police her neighbor says the one she saw being stabbed is not her neighbor's wife there's a plot twist in the story and then i really didn't see it coming she actually have issue herself with her previous marriage if you guys have watched the movie you have to read the book the next book is your mom a little book for mothers and the people who love them by Liz Glamo. I really really love this book I read it five stars solid five stars because it made me cry even though if you see this animal characters are very adorable cute and stuff I'm touched with everything is inside this book the main point is everybody could be a mother if you're a grandmother you can be a mother if you're not the biological mother if you're a foster mother if you are an aunt you can be a mother even though you didn't literally give birth to your kid this is recommended really hilarious to see all the babies grown up and in that process these mothers would get sleep deprived the next book is Goodbye, Sedeh dan Kecewa oleh Ririn Rahayu. If not mistaken, I rated this four stars. As you guys can see from the tabings, I really love this book. This can possibly distract you from your troubles or your problems at the moment if you read it. Buku ni mengisahkan tentang kehidupan kita hari-hari yang tak lari daripada masalah. Buku ni terbahagi kepada beberapa masalah. Jadi masalah dengan diri sendiri, masalah dengan suami, masalah dengan kawan, dengan anak, dengan jiran. Dalam setiap bab, penulis menghurai semua masalah ini dan memberi solusi mengikut pandangan beliau sendiri. The next book is Bicaralah Yang Baik Ataupun Diam oleh Ikhraq Firdaus. If you guys haven't watched the video, you can watch it up here. I really love this book. I think I've rated it like 4.5 stars or 5 solid stars. The next book is Allah Loves by Omar Sulaiman. This book basically helps us to be a better Muslim, a better citizen. This explores about what are the things, the characteristics of a Muslim that Allah likes, that Allah favors. So after reading this, we are committed to to be a better Muslim. I rated this book 4 stars. The next book is The Man Who Collected Woman by Nigel Barley. So this is a very depressing read. I think I rated this 3.5 stars. It's not a bad book. It feels draggy. It gives out so much backstories. The characters are... How do I say this? Not likable. Can I at least like a character in this? Let's skip that one. The next book is Talking to Myself 
Daniela Rivera Zacarias. It's actually a dual language book. In front is English. At the back is Tagalog. I gave this book two stars, I'm not mistaken. I'm not liking it. Even though it's a like a self-help mental health book, it started off really, really great. I really like her writing. And then when she started talking about God, there is where I'm sorry, this is not for me. In her opinion, God and religion is not something that are connected. I am against that. So obviously, this book is not for me. The next book is Questions or Answers by Timothy Joshua. I really, really love this. I genuinely love this. I have made the review videos. You can watch up here. Moving on to the next book. I guess no one knows about this book. It is written by Noni Lofa. Um, this is actually a pre-love book. I don't know if you can actually sell this. But you can get this for free if you bought one of her scarves. It's a so-so kind of writing for me. She included Surah's quotes from the Quran and pour her own thoughts. I rated this book two stars. The next book is Pemikiran Tasawuf Sheikh Dr. Yusuf al Qaradawi oleh Dr. Muhammad Kamil Haji Abdul Majid. Saya suka buku ni. Saya bagi rating empat bintang. Dr. Muhammad Kamil tulis untuk tesis beliau. Saya rasa kajian beliau terhadap pemikiran Tasawuf Sheikh Sangat-sangat baik. Pembacaan ini sangat berat bagi saya sendiri. Walaupun saya pernah menghadiri daurah dan kelas-kelas uh, berkaitan tasawuf dengan Syekh Ruhi Mudin dan uh, Maulana Wan Asri sebelum ni. Bila saya mengetahui pandangan Syekh Dr. Yusuf tentang ilmu tasawuf, saya baca dengan belapang dada. Saya suka kesederhanaan beliau dalam mengamalkan dan mengajarkan tasawuf. Di buku ni secara asasnya sesuai dibaca oleh masyarakat umum. Buku ini meletakkan umat Islam atas landasan ilmu yang tak keterlaluan dalam mempertahankan tasawuf dan juga tak keterlaluan dalam mengkritik pengamal tasawuf. The next one is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. I really really love this. I think I rated this for 4.5 stars. I love his debut book which is The Silent Patient and this met my expectation. It's a psychological thriller. Basically, it's about this woman mothering and nurturing her niece who's lost both of their parents. She got called from her niece from the university saying that her best friend got murdered and then this woman decided to go to her niece and started investigating. What she found is really shocking. But I thought I could guess who's the psycho in this whole story. Ends up when the plot twists are revealed, this... Shh! My kittens. When the plots are revealed, there's so much into it. The backstory just shocked me. I really love one character in this. I cannot remember the guy name. But if you guys want me to review this in depth in the next video, you can just comment down below. And the last book I read is English for Everyone, English Idioms. I rated this book a solid 5 stars because it's really helpful when I'm trying to think of an idiom that suits my book reviews. I do not have these sets of idioms in my head. I can always refer to this. So, recommend it. I guess that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please smash that subscribe button and please say hi so I know that you guys watch my video and I really want to appreciate every single one of you. I see you in my next one. Bye. Assalamualaikum.